Arc Survival Evolved on the Savage series of my Arc Survival Evolved gameplay. Uh, this is on the single player server and um, I woke up today and I found myself naked which makes almost no sense. Uh, all my clothes are broken and the game doesn't run when I'm not on. So I really don't understand why all my clothing is gone. So the first thing we're going to do today is fix our clothes. And then I'm going to show you what to do after you've established a wood base and you clear out your spino because I think that was the last thing we did. Our spino was killed. Uh, I did pull the, uh, the, uh, I can't think what they're called at the moment, uh, the bush people. I removed them from the game. I decided they were no longer, uh, I, I looked around a little bit. There was a short step away where I checked out the Bush People mod because I realized I didn't have it working. And after I got it working, I realized that uh, it was definitely not what I was thinking it was and was way... Just, they're either going to destroy you or just be an annoyance. So, um, it was just something I got rid of. And now I am back with a just a regular arc server. I wish they'd come up with something, like, with something that would just attack every once in a great while but be a really long time before that happens. But anyway, that's neither here nor there at the moment. We're just going to fix our clothes and get dressed. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to realize at this point is uh, once you've established at least to this degree is where to go from here. And uh, there's definitely a few ways to go. You could continue to build it by hand, but that's pretty a slow way to go. Um, we do want to go ahead and level up some more, so leveling would not necessarily be a bad idea. And uh, when I say leveling, we do. is that a berry on it? Oh, I don't have a spyglass. I can't see it. Leveling is never a bad idea, especially when you want to learn some things. Like particularly, I'm really wanting to learn. Uh, wow, that was a lot of thatch from that tree. I'm wanting to learn. Um, Trank arrows, but the only way to learn Trank arrows is to level up to level 21, I believe it was. Yeah. and So we had to level up to 21 before we can do that, so we either need to find some other way to level up, which actually killing that Baryonyx would not be a bad course, but I'm kind of scared that Baryonyx is pretty tough. I don't think we're really prepared for it. Um... We need to go back and go ahead and grab some more hide. We need to finish up making clothes. Uh, we learned the engrams. Uh, it would help us level up to actually have better clothes. So we're going to go ahead and get some better clothes going. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. And right now we're going to try and take down a trike. Uh, now we're not taming it, we're just killing it right now, we're just trying to get those levels to get the trank arrows. Hopefully this rock will protect us. Uh, looks like it is. Now one thing you need to remember about trikes is their head actually protects them, so you don't want to hit them in the head, you want to hit them in the body. Uh, if you hit them in the head, you're just wasting your shots. Uh, now trikes can, and I don't know if they've adjusted the ability to fight, but they used to be really good about climbing up with rocks. I used to have a lot of trouble with that, and uh, uh, sometimes they're pretty smart, so don't necessarily count a trike out for being stupid because it's a dino. Uh, they generally can be pretty smart sometimes, so, like right now I am now on the ground with it, and I need to run. Run, run, run. We do not want to be <laughs> on the ground with the trike. Now, some people would say, well, you can outrun it, or something along those lines. Well, I don't want to try and outrun it. I don't like trying to outrun them. They are fairly rough. Uh, just as long as you don't hit it in the head, you can hit the blade, you can hit it in the back. Uh, if you have to, put one in the head, but you can see right there they didn't do much, even though before I was making it really bloody. There we go, level 32 trike dead. And that was probably worth a lot of, that was definitely worth a lot of experience. Also get the keratin and the hide. Uh, the reason why we killed this trike uh, versus taming it is one, we don't have the equipment for it. Uh, we need it to at least have a slingshot and a good number of rocks to pelt it. And not only that, but we need more time. Uh, something I don't really want to take on the first trike. We're going to look for something a little smaller. Watch me for the next trike I grab. It'll be insanely huge. Our 
trank arrows learn. Now we're going to have to go ahead and craft some trank arrows. Uh, first off, I would craft every single arrow if you don't have a lot of narcotics. Make all of them into trank arrows because these are going to be more useful this way than anything else. Narcotics in the beginning are going to be hard to come by and the narcotic uh, trank arrows are very hard to come by because you only can make trank arrows from narcotics. So by having no trank arrows or having just enough trank arrows, you don't want to waste your narcotics. Uh, you'd rather use narco berries. So rather than wasting the narcotics on the dinos themselves, use them as trank arrows. It's much better this route. You'll be able to do a little more with your trank arrow this way. Okay. So at this point, we have a bow. We have our arrows. Oh, and we got more of an inventory than we need. Now we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these beds. There we go. That'll lighten our load a lot. Um, so right now we're looking for a low level trike. Uh, the reason why we're looking for a low level one and not a high level one is uh, the, the higher the level, the longer they take to tame. So the lower level we can find, the better. This looks like a promising one level six. I think this was the guy we looked at earlier. We're going to go ahead and try and knock him out. He shouldn't have much for Torpor. But we also want to get him out of the woods here. We want to get him back to where we can control the situation. Uh, we want to... I want him out here on the beach where I can maneuver and flank around him. Uh, and at the same time, I just want to be able to tame this guy closer to base. I'd rather him be closer to base where I know he's going to be safe. I can do some work around the base versus... 3 million miles away. Now you can see he lost interest after so long, the Trank Arrow uh, lost its uh, thing. Now the Torpor is not necessarily out, but he is no longer aggravated on me. There we go. A bit of a delay on that one. I think that might have been uh, lag on the computer's part. And we're just trying to make sure we can get him to come towards us. You can use the selfie cam, the K button, to uh, pull the Trike. Uh, pull the change of view around so you can see behind you where you run straight. Um, again, aim for the feet if you can. Oh, look, he's turning already. He is already pull point up. So let's help him to get more. There you go, he's down. And that's all it takes for low level trikes. Um, I'll go over the exact details on how to actually knock these guys out. It went pretty quick. Alright, so. If this Bronco will not so rudely interrupt us. Some of the basics about, you can see we're getting the arrows out of them at this point. We're running up. Some things to know about tranking out a dino. Um, torpor, depending on the dino, can disappear very quickly or very, very slowly. This particular animal is not very good about reducing its torpor. So, it picks it up fairly, fairly fast and keeps it for a fairly long time. Uh, they generally have a low torpor, you can see right here, 325, they never really get very high. And uh, you can see it's dropping very slowly. Uh, we're going to gather some berries uh, to keep this guy down. So at this point we're going to the hand grab berries. This is a great time to collect fertili uh, fertilizer. Great time to collect fiber and also any extra narco berries if you, if you have rotted meat to turn them into that. Um, now when trying to engage a trike, one thing that you have to know is uh, you should more than likely be able to outrun or outmaneuver a trike in most cases. Sometimes they have they used to aggro at least they used to uh, aggro from a far uh, a long time. You had to run very far to get away. Now they seem to lose interest a little more often than they used to. Then maybe that's just a little different to me. Uh, I've also gotten a lot more aggressive with my uh, approach to mess with them. So all your trank. Uh, effectiveness, how effective the trank arrow is, and, and like how much uh, torpor it, it increases the dino, is by how much the damage is by the bow, and by the arrow, which means if you have a good bow, you're going, let's say you have a bow with 200%, and it took four arrows to knock this guy out, well with a bow with 100%, you should only need two arrows to trank this guy out. That said though, if you shoot him in the head, it will reduce, because he is getting a reduction in damage, 
it will reduce the amount of effectiveness of Trank that you get from the arrow that hit his head, and therefore it may take you 20 arrows to knock this guy out, even with a bow that did 200%. Uh, now, just the stronger the arrow is, the better. Uh, if you have an Ascend Bow, which I have on the other server, which gives me a very good hit, or if you have a regular crossbow over a bow, you're going to see a reduction in the number of arrows you're going to use. But again, you want to aim for not the head, but the body or the feet. Just try not to hit the head on the trike, and you'll be fine. Alright, yeah, so I want to show you a trick here I learned. It was uh, something I saw on actually another video. Uh, if I can find the video, I'll link it. But uh, basically, this guy was uh, showing this being done on Xbox, and I had no idea. This will ruin the payment of Benjamin for the dino. And in our particular case, we do not care too much because it's a level 6. We're not going to get much out of this guy anyway. Um, honestly, it probably would have tamed out with zero taming effect. Well, maybe not zero taming effect, but pretty close to it. Which means we do not want to... Um, I mean, we, it doesn't really matter. We, we would never see much effect. But, basically, uh, what I'm trying to show here is uh, these stim berries. You can throw these stim berries on there and it will eat them. And you can see his food, his taming bar is going up on its own. So he's gathering that. He's getting hungrier. At the same time, we're getting, he's eating the stem berries, constantly taming. So now, because he is uh, running out of stem berries, we're going to go ahead and throw some medro berries on him. And we're going to throw some other berries on him. And you can see these are giving a much better taming effectiveness or taming points to it. But in the meantime, we were already taming him. Uh, with the berries they had, and he would consistently eat those other berries even though he wasn't hungry. So now he's taming up, he's already at 46%. This is a very quick way to reduce your taming times about half, but at the same time as well, reducing it is going to basically cost you your tames effectiveness. So do not use this on strong dinos like high level trites or any high level herbivore like your, your Bronto. This is going to run it for you. Alright guys, so we have tamed our first trike here, and the first thing you probably want to do is hop up on it and ride it, but I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot do that right off, not unless you have a trike saddle, which is something that I was looking at learning. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't learned it just yet, I'm going to have to level up before we can do that. But uh, it does not mean this trike is completely useless, he can be a battle buddy. Uh, he's got a few options on him right now, he is on, uh, his behavior is on, where is it at? They've, all, they've changed all the stuff around, messed with it. Uh, stance attack your target. Right now, if I were to swing my weapon at anything, including that, that Bronto over there, he would go ahead and attack that Bronto. Now, we definitely don't want that. We want him on neutral. We want him to defend himself, but we don't want him to go running after things. Sometimes neutral, they'll defend other dinos as well as yourself. Um, so, in that case, sometimes you may see a try to actually defend itself and, or attack others. Um, that are attacking your own dinos, like if my dodo's going to attack, he might actually attack, but 90% of the time he's not going to. Now, you also have other stances, behaviors, uh, stances, aggressive, which is just generally don't put it on that unless whatever you want in that area around him to be dead. So basically that's a attack just to, that just puts him to attack, and he attacks everything, no matter what, which can get you in a lot of trouble sometimes. Uh, passive is just going to basically make him ignore everything. Even if he's attacked, he will not he will not respond. Or in this case, she will not respond. Uh, neutral is just generally the best one to go with. Unless, of course, you do not want your stuff to move. You'll use this a lot more later on once you get a dino farm going. But as of the beginning, you are going to probably want to use this more just for safety's sake of keeping your tames alive. Um, attack your target again is something you'll use later on more than you'll use now, but you might use it a little bit early on. It just means they'll attack your target and swing your weapons, or there's also an attack my target button. I believe it's comma or period. I think it's period. And uh, your dino will run to that target and attack that target. Um, I don't really like to use that a lot because I'd rather just do the killing myself, and riding your dino supports a lot better for fighting. Uh, generally, I wouldn't use them as a battle buddy in the first place. I would use them as a pat mule instead, which is another option that you can use it for. They generally have a lot more weight than you. This trike has 379 versus my 180 weight, which means you can tow him along to collect wood or stone or whatever you're trying to get, 
and then you can walk beside him and carry your weight plus his weight. So now you've got basically a hauler. Uh, they make great... Their trikes in general are just excellent for just about everything off the bat. Um, they're good combat units early on. They are good harvesters. And they're good pat mules early on. And that, that's what they're good for. They, as far as speed, they're not very good. But they can also extend your range because you don't have to worry about a few things. Uh, right now, we're not going to be able to ride it which means we're, our range really isn't so much extended, but once you can ride this thing, you can actually use it to farm berries, and they do a much better job than you or I do by hand. They don't collect any fiber, but they'll collect a lot of berries, a lot of narco berries, which is something you'll want later, or which is what you'll want for your tames, and uh, for taming bigger and stronger trikes, or maybe even that bronto over there, if you have enough trankos to not get out, which you'll get from the narco berries. So you've got that as an option. Um, overall, anything else, just uh, a combat unit. This one is generally weak, but you can still fight off some pretty hef hefty stuff. Uh, don't go fighting a Spino or a Rex with this thing, but you can go ahead and fight off some strong Raptors or Dillos. Uh, you might be able to take on a Carno, but you can definitely take on a few Trikes or something like that as well. Especially if you perch it up on a hill, use its not back. There's a few things you can definitely do. We will go over that a little more, though, about what exactly you can do with it once I do get a saddle for it, though. Alright, guys. So the next order of business, uh, being we do not have a saddle, and we need to learn to make a saddle, is we need to build something to keep our uh, trike safe. One of the things you want to do, definitely, uh, for any of your low-level teams, or actually all your teams, because you're not going to want these guys running off. Uh, right now he's on neutral, he can defend himself, but only against some things. We definitely need to protect him from the wild and keep him out of sight. So one thing you're going to want to do is craft up a couple, uh, uh, some sort of way of containing him. Now, some people might go with a fence. I've done a fence before, but it's actually a lot more expensive to go with a fence than it is to go with uh, uh, building a box for him. So what we're going to do is attach a box to the side of our wall and put the trike inside that bot. So, we're gonna go ahead and collect some stuff and then I will bring you back once we actually get somewhere. So we're back with a little bit of stuff now and we've actually leveled up uh, during during this process, uh, crafting a lot of foundations. I say a lot, only six. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna do when you first, uh, uh, when you're building the pen for a trike is you need to realize the general size of the trike. The trike is about three foundations by two foundations. Now you can actually squeeze it into a, a three by one and a half, but any more or less than that is going to be problematic about fitting it in there. So what we got is six foundations to make sure we have enough. Now I'm going to pull the triceratops out. And we still have not to put the saddle on him yet. We will put the saddle on him soon though because we're going to actually want to have him now and use him for backup help. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just play it. Oh, crap, that was a mistake. Oh no, you know what, we'll build it off the back. Uh, we're going to roll with what happened because we don't want to waste the structure. So we need to put the trike somewhere where it's basically safe. And that means... Walling it in basically when it's not being ridden. Alright, so we are out of stuff. Alright, now we're going to level up. Uh, I'm gonna level up another point in weight. That was all blurry for a minute. That's weird. I just noticed that. The whole engram thing, like, fades in slightly. It's blurry at first, and it was for me. And then it, uh, went back to normal. So, we want to learn our trike saddle. That's very important. Now that we have this, our trike will be much stronger. And I'll explain that to you a little better, uh, later. Uh, we have learned our axe, so actually we should be crafting an axe. Why we haven't done that, I don't know. Uh, anything else that we have come across to level up to? Right, I'm assuming some of this is stone. We need dinosaur gateway. Oh, and we're out for the moment by one engram. Alright, so that's alright though. First off, we're going to go ahead and build this trike saddle. We need... What is it? This is a craftable in your inventory, and we need 48, oh, not 48, 100, 140 hide. Now, I'm almost positive I have 140 hide, but you never know. We could be wrong. We may have to go out and do some hunting. Uh, preferably, hopefully we do. 
I've got foundations in there. Oh my god, I can't believe I had foundations. We'll save those for later, I guess. Alright, so we got 130. And what else do we need? Trite saddles down here. We need wood. Well, here's some wood. Alright, so we're going to craft this. And unfortunately, it doesn't give that look like it's even made of wood. Uh, I really wish they had more of a look to them than just regular straps and stuff. I mean, it looks like strap. I mean, you would think with all this stuff that you would see kind of a look to it or something like that and make it look like it's made of wood. But uh, sadly, that's not really the case. So we're going to go ahead and slap this trike saddle on there. And this is going to make the dino much, much stronger. Uh, this just 20 points of armor takes the dino from receiving... Uh, 100 damage to maybe 60 damage, if that, sometimes even less than that, and it's just much, much more helpful. Uh, next thing you want to do, on a low-level dino like this, you're going to want to just kind of pump health. Uh, you could pump melee, because your melee stats are going to pump good no matter what. Uh, health in general for me, because uh, when I ride a trike at least, I don't fight for damage, I fight for length of battle, and so this is going to help me lengthen that battle just in case. So we got that going. And now we can go ahead and ride our trike. Now there's a few good things about the trike. The trike can be a good pack mule. And the reason why I didn't take the trike out before to be a pack mule to come along with me was because I couldn't ride it, which means I couldn't control it. At this point, when you're riding the trike, you don't want him on neutral. You would rather him be on passive. Because if he gets hit and he starts chasing after something, knocking it away, what you're going to find out is he's long gone, you're running after him, and then he dies because he ran at the target instead of letting you ride him and do the attack and use your knockback. Now you notice already I'm picking up something, uh, I'm picking up all kinds of berries. The trike is an exceptional harvester of berries. You can see I'm getting all kinds of narco berries. All those, all that rotted meat we could have, now we could definitely use to level up. Uh, the trike's already leveling up again. Very good in the beginning just to level up as you gather some berries. You can see we already have 230 berries in the way less time than what it would have taken us to manufacture it. You can also, while you're on the trike, use it as a tank. Now, I wouldn't suggest with a low level trike like this to use it as a tank while you trank stuff, but to use your higher level trikes or your higher level ground mounts that allow you to pull a weapon out on, on top of them, and you can use it. Well, not we don't want to fire that arrow. You can use it and sit there and shoot. Now, if you want to go back to fighting, just hit Q. Get my arrows back. Alright, there we go. But that's pretty much all the trike really can do. It does not run very well, especially at lower levels. They do not carry much of a sprint. Uh, there is no right click for this. C does nothing. Leveling, the only two things you really want to level in a trike, unless you want a racing trike, is melee and health. Yes, stamina is great, but on a low level trike, you're never going to get any stamina out of it anyway. And uh, running is not going to really drain your stamina. You're going to find either hitting things with your head often, which we'll actually do right now. Okay. One hit took five points. And you'll see a rapid head movement like this will quickly drain your stamina. Unfortunately, on a low level try, this is going to happen no matter what, really. And level up in stamina is a waste because you have until this thing passes out. Which, it can pass out just like you or me whenever we overwork ourselves in the game. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second. As I crank it down, you'll see the star start to appear on the side here. See as it gets tired, you get the star and it starts to build up. You have until that fills up before you are going to pass out. So you have until then to not knock your dino out. And also, just to note this, you can always feed it stem berries, which will help drop that and reduce that quickly. And you're going to have the source of berries as it is, so it's not like you're going to have to worry too much. Now, I don't suggest it in battle, stopping to feed him stem berries, but it will also, stem berries will also pump stamina, so uh, this is a great one for birds. If you're ever in a situation where your bird is running out of stamina and you're high in the air, if you have any stem berries on you or on your bird, 
put them in the bird and force feed him the stem berries. It will give him energy and he will be able to land on the ground. Or you can get, get control of the guy. Now, on that note though, do not overfeed your animal to where you kill it. And uh, do not use stimulants. Turning it into stimulants is not, does not do it. They don't gather any stamina from from going uh, and pumping it into uh, what's his name? Into uh, pumping all those uh, stam uh, the stamina uh, berries, the stem berries into uh, stimulants. No stamina gain. All right, guys. So we have got everything built. It looks like uh, I'm just trying to find the last structure that they got left. Yep, they're right here. Um, we're now, if you're on an official server, this is a much more important than on a single player server. I could get away without doing this. But make sure you close off your dino before you go home, before you get off once you've tamed it. Uh, a lot of bad things can happen. Some people like to just troll you. Uh, dino, what you have to remember is the server runs with, even when you're not there. So that can also affect you. And uh, that means dillos and raptors and rexes can accidentally get left over, even uh, led over, even if it wasn't intentional. Uh, these things can be led over to your base by accident, or they can wander to your base as someone that's in the area rendering that area. And um, you could wind up waking up to that harder trike that you just came, whatever level it may be. And in this case, my trike just runs that. Uh, you could end up waking up to finding it dead. Ah! Oh my God! So we lost a few structures there. Stand up. And just remember, also your trike can give you a boost. That's another uh, uh, bonus. Trikes are definitely really good about get, getting you a boost up when you need to reach something that you can stand on their back. Alright guys, so we managed to tame a trike today. We built an extension onto the house. Uh, we got our metal tools. We leveled up in that area as well. Uh, we even uh, we got a forge, we got a pick, we got an axe. We are in much better shape to continue to harvest resources from this point on. And uh, it's all pretty cool. Uh, we built this extension which we'll end up demolishing at some point, but that's when we decide to move. Right now, it's great to have it right there, and it's going to protect our dino anytime we're not home, or near home, but not using the trike. Uh, it's saddled, ready to go. Uh, other than that, uh, the only thing going on there is uh, this Bronto seems to think my house is a bunch of poop, and uh, he took a crap on it uh, just a minute ago. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when it happened. He, uh, he stepped on it, and then right before he got off the house, he pooped in the corner of my house. But, anyway... I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe I did something wrong. Tell me again. If I did that, if you did learn something though, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, if there's any other help or information I might have missed, no matter what, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Or actually, feel obligated to leave it in the comments and uh, let me know. That way, I can add it into the next video so we can catch that along with it. Uh, other than that, you guys have a great day. We'll catch you next time.